Hello and welcome again. In our last video, we discussed the concept behind policy, standard, and procedure. We understood that the policy is top management statement that reflect management intention and define what is acceptable behavior. We also understood that the standard is a kind of guiding for how to implement the policy in a proper way. In this video, we will discuss the ISACA IT Assurance Framework or IT Audit Assurance Framework. In this framework, ISACA provides clear instructions using standards and guidelines for how to conduct the audit in a proper way and discuss all details related to this process. You can download your copy from IT Assurance Framework from ISACA website if you are a member. Unfortunately, this is a copyright material, so you will not find it available because when you download this resource from Izaka website, you will find your name printed on this resource. So you need to be a member of Izaka in order to be able to download this resource. So let's go through this video. The first thing that we need to discuss is that IT, ITAF or IT Assurance Framework is a valuable resource that include what we just mentioned, blah, 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 about auditing and how to perform auditing using good uh, guidelines. And it is available in Izaka store, as we said. And in Izaka standard IT assurance framework, we have the standards and guidelines categorized in three main categories. These categories, including general guiding principles, we have also performance category and reporting category. Remember, you are not required to memorize what we are talking about here, but you need just to know in order to have the information about it. So in ITAF, we have uh, our uh, standards and guidelines in three main categories, general category and performance and reporting. General category, for instance, deal with ethics, independence, ob objectivity, and the measures that describe the due care, knowledge, competency, and skills. Why the performance deal with the conduct of the assignment? We mean here by the assignment is the audit itself. In regard to reporting, the ITIAF reporting standards and guidelines address the types of reports, how to communicate it, and what are the information that we need to communicate. So, audit standards uh, regarding in the ITIAF contain a statement of mandatory requirement and you are not required to memorize any of this, but you will be tested against the concept. And in standards, we have all the standards start with uh, number one. So we have general standards, we have standard for audit charter, we have organization independence uh, up to the criteria. We have also the performance standard, which is which starts with the engagement planning up to uh, irregularity and illegal act. And in reporting, we have two standards, which is standard 1401 and 1402, which are related to reporting and the follow-up activity. And this is just a statement. So you will not expect it or you are not expected to find too much details in the standard, but you will find more details in the guidelines. So in guidelines, as we have a standard about audit charter, we will find a guideline related to audit charter. So we will find guidelines or we will find in guidelines more details, more details about how to apply this in practical way so this is very useful resource and i really encourage you to have a time to read it if you can frankly speaking i didn't read all the information included in this guide but however when i discuss anything about evidence or having a doubt about the evidence for instance i see the itaf standard point that is related to evidence part and in order to understand how to apply this standard in a good way or in a good manner, I use the guideline. As you can see here, this is like a snapshot from the ITF standard in relation to audit charter. As you can see here, the standard is just a two simple statement that implies that you need to have audit charter in place that define overall responsibility, authority, and accountability. You remember that, right? So this is a standard, but in guideline, we have many details. So for instance, we uh, have uh, the keyword or the charter, what is the purpose, what is the responsibility, and what are the guidelines that you need to uh, count in order to implement the concept of the charter in a proper way. 
Let's uh, that's was all about the ITAF. Last thing that we need to know is the, the linking between all of this information. We need just to mention that the, must, the standards is the mandatory statement that must be followed by the IS or the Information System Auditor. Guidelines provide, as, provide assistance on how to conduct or how to implement these standards. And as, as an auditor, you can use many tools and techniques that will guide you through, through your path in auditing and, when, and will teach you and will assist you in uh, doing your job in a proper way. One of these tools, of, of course, is by understanding uh, the ITAF and reading about COVID framework control objective uh, uh, framework which is published by Izaka. You may also uh, relay on some of the checklists that we can use uh, during our auditing stage when we are auditing uh, a specific technology and so So that was all for uh, this short video. I hope it was informative and see you in our next video.